Hey guys, Seth Fuller, your favorite lawyer here, here to talk about HB 2593. Now this was a house bill that recently failed that was going to take THC products other than marijuana, which is basically these vape cartridges, these gummies, these edibles, whatever you like that gets you high, that doesn't hurt you and doesn't require smoking is a felony here in Texas, okay? And so recently there was several marijuana bills introduced because well, less than 15% of Texas Texans think that marijuana should be completely criminalized. Well, the legislature is finally catching up to that. And they had several bills. The one that made it through both the House and the Senate committee was HB 2593. Now, 2593 made THC products essentially the same as marijuana flower. Now I know, I know, I know why are we not just legalizing it or at least legalizing it medically or at least coming into the 21st century like so many other states have done. Well, it doesn't matter. This was a step in the right direction in that it reduced the penalty from years and years in prison down to possibly up to one year in jail. This was a big thing. I have a case out in BFE, Texas, where my guy only has a vape cartridge. It was a nearly empty vape, cart vape cartridge. They found it in his car after saying they smelled marijuana out in the middle of nowhere in his work truck. They found this almost empty vape cartridge and they charged him with THC because it turned out to be a THC vape cartridge. The current offer for him is 18 months in jail or five years of probation just for a vape cartridge. Now this law, had it passed, and this was just a few days ago that it didn't, would have changed entirely his life, his offer, and everything, but no. Why did it fail? Well, because the governor of Texas, with any of these bills, was trying to sneak in criminalizing what's called Delta H THC. Now basically this is a, um, a THC product that's not federally or state illegal. So basically you can get high for free. You can go to your local smoke shop and you can buy it legally because it is not illegal and it's not a Delta 9 THC product. So basically skirting the law. It's made out of hemp. Again, it's not deadly. It's not one of these synthetics that's killing people and giving people seizures and all this stuff. No, it's just another product that people want to use to get high. But the state of Texas, your government, who you elected, decided that you shouldn't be able to get high even off of a product that they hadn't made illegal yet. So they want to sneak in this De Delta 8, they, not sneak in, they want to force in making illegal. Another thing, while we're legalizing marijuana they're trying to make a, another part of it another substance from it illegal not because it's killing people or hurting people but just because that's what they do and so the lieutenant governor did not call on the bill's sponsor to go for a vote so essentially the lieutenant governor killed the bill on behalf of the governor because they wouldn't make another marijuana product illegal all right so what are we supposed to do, Seth? What do we, what's supposed to be going on? Here's what you're supposed to do. Go vote, of course, but maybe that you can't even, that isn't even gonna affect anything because, you know, you voted for these guys and it's, you made it clear what your wishes are and they are still keeping it illegal and then trying to even go the opposite way. So instead, show up, do your civic duty, show up for jury duty, and if it's a non-violent marijuana-related crime like these THCs, these felonies, make it, just give them not guilty. Because if I know that going into trial, that my guy can have one person on that jury who will say, this is wrong, this is not what we want, this is not what we the people intend and will find my client not guilty then I can go in with confidence and turn down the five-year probation offers that they're making knowing that not only will they be found not guilty or at least a hung jury and he won't be found guilty but then if we do, are found guilty and go to punishment it will be a fair jury who will give him a fair sentence not 18 months in prison but mostly I made this video just to tell you what your legislature has been doing because I haven't seen it a lot of places and I just wanted you to know that this is affecting people. This is putting people in prison and do you know how expensive it, expensive it will be to keep someone in prison for 18 months? 
or keep someone on probation for five years, all for this purely 100% for a harmless product. So do your thing, become an advocate, become an activist, whatever you have to do, but most importantly, do your civic duty. And let's stop letting the legislature cost us money, cost us lives, cost us time. Thanks guys, have a good one. Take this shit, the mother try. Take this shit, the mother.